this is a Sealy Mighty MIG 140 XT uh, MIG welder um, that is broken at the moment. Um, I've taken the cover off. Basically, it, I'll show you what happens when I pull the trigger on the gun. Excuse the state of the gun. Um, I've just been uh, taking it apart to test it. Um, if I pull the trigger on the gun, sorry, I'll turn it on. So we've got the fan running. And if I pull the trigger, uh, the wire, nothing happens. Um, the wire motor doesn't start. Um, and basically the, the welder doesn't kick into life. Right, so now I've switched off the welder and I'm going to test um, I'm going to test the relay on this circuit board here. Um, make sure I'm going to check the resistance of the coil on this relay um, to check that there's no breaks in that coil. Or a high resistance. This might be tricky to film, but I'm set to um, set to ohms on my multimeter here. Um, right, and I'm reading um, point. 205 kilo ohms so about 205 ohms and um, so that coil is is good um, so that relay should work if it's getting power so I don't think it's getting power all right so I know that this relay is good or should be good and um, so now I'm going to uh, what I've done is I've tie wrapped the trigger on the um, on the torch here so that the the trigger is held in and um, what I want to do now is test this transformer is working um, so um, which is basically we should have AC power at these 240, 240 volts AC on these two pins for the transformer and we should be getting 28 volts DC um, at these two pins um, as, it, as it comes out of the transformer. Um, so I'm going to switch on the, uh, the welder now being very careful because this is high voltage so if you're not confident working on high voltage um, powered up items, don't do this. All right, so we're powered up, fans running. Um, I've got my multimeter set to 300 volts AC. All right, and I'll try and get onto. All right, so. Yep, we've got, so we're across the pins now, uh, and we've got 236 volts, so there, that's good there, so now I need to change the, the multimeter to DC. Right, so I've now changed my uh, multimeter to uh, volts DC now, so um, I've set it to 20, um, so we should get twelve volts coming out of, uh, well, there or thereabouts, out of these these two pins here. Uh, so I'll just point. I'll point with this one. Out of these two pins, we should have twelve volts across here if the transformer is doing its job. Um, across the two pins and we've got nothing coming through that transformer 
so I think the transformer is is broken um, because we've got a uh, we've got 240 volts AC across these two pins and we should be getting 12 volts DC out So I got hold of a new transformer off, um, off eBay actually. I'll put uh, uh, the details in the description. Um, so I've soldered that on to the to the board. Um, I've there's no I've taken the tie wrap off the trigger so the trigger's not permanently pulled like it was earlier when I was testing. Um, so I'm pretty much ready to turn on the welder and uh, see if it works. Uh, one thing I did forget to point out is this little fuse here. Um, that's, that's one thing you can easily test with your multimeter if you um, put it on you put it on uh, ohms you can easily test whether they're Right, so um, the, the welder is switched on, and the fan is running. I now am ready to squeeze the trigger on the torch, and hopefully the welder should kick into life with the new transformer. So here we go. Yes, it works. Okay, did you hear that? Um, it's fired into life. I'll just just move over here and see if that wire oh, I think the um, uh, the wire motor is actually down here so you're not going to be able to see that that moving um, but I'll I'll, drop, I'll hold you closer so you can hear it working when I pull the trigger excellent um, so I'll get some, some welding wire put in and we should be good to go um, thanks for watching Right, this is the old transformer that I removed from the circuit board. Um, I'll just leave it there so you can see the rating on it. Right, I'm just going to do a, a uh, resistance check on these um, terminals here, just so we can see what's wrong with it. Uh, so I'll start with I'll start with the 240 volt AC terminals here. So um, let's see what we've got. Let's see if we've got continuity through here. No. Um, just moving to a higher range. Yeah, so that's open circuit across those um, 240 volt um, contacts there pins um, this is the primary half of the transformer so looks like we've got an open circuit that's why we had we had no we had 240 volts when it was when it was on the circuit board we had 240 volts sat there at these pins but it wasn't getting wasn't coming through to the other side so I'll now test Now test the DC side. This was this should have had 12 volts DC coming out of it when it was on the board, um, and that is actually that has continuity. So that that side seems to be good. So the secondary side is good. Um, the primary side is bad. That's open circuit. So uh, that's why we had no power coming through this. Okay. Thanks for watching.